Hey guys, it's Coily Diaries back with another video. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe and like this video, share this video, and to my returning subscribers, to my returning subscribers, you know I love you guys. Thank you for continuing to support this channel. In this video, I'll be sharing with you guys how I use a ball bristle brush to keep my scalp clean, cleanse my scalp pretty much, and also make the most out of the sebum that is produced on my scalp. And yes, this method does for my scalp what a shampoo cannot do. Let's get into it. So I got this ball bristle brush from Amazon for about $15, give or take. I like the shape of the brush because it's actually quite well designed for what I'm about to do. Um, this brush is actually a teasing brush and it's from the brand called Grand Naturals. And I really love that it it's pretty small <laughs> and it actually has a layer just in between... I don't know if you can tell, there's a middle section between the brush there that's actually higher than the rest of the bristles, which is really perfect for reaching the scalp. I consider this bristle brush to not be a soft one, but it's not hard either. So it's like in the middle, which is perfect for what I want to do because you want abrasion of some sort, but you don't want it to be too rough you know or too aggressive on your scalp and you also don't want it to be too soft that it doesn't do the job so here i'm just showing you that middle section that's higher than the rest of the bristles which just helps to um, really focus on the part that you're working on if you know what i mean so my hair is about a month since i last washed it and this is about the time when you know you really need to become particular I mean, you're particular throughout, but you know, you don't want to slack at this point because you can easily get buildup of sebum on the scalp and start encountering issues there. So I like to use this brush, like I've been using it for the last few months and it's really been good to help cleanse my scalp and also to just lift and distribute the sebum from my scalp onto the hair. I don't get fancy with parting my hair at all and I'm going to tell you why in a second. I pretty much use the already parted sections on my hair and gently go ahead and brush um, the sebum off of my scalp, gently distributing it onto my hair. Now, because of that middle section that is higher than the rest of the bristles, this brush is able to access parts of my scalp that are not even parted. It feels a little bit like an exfoliation on the scalp and as you can imagine it makes sense because it is a brush so it's actually causing a bit of friction agitating the sebum and all I'm doing is um, just running it down the length of my hair to distribute it onto the hair from the scalp. Now I don't worry about this brush being able to cover all of my scalp or like being worried about parting really small parts next to each other to make sure I get every single part of my scalp and the reason for that is because that little section that actually is sticking out more than the rest of the bristles um, because it's so uh, what can I say it's not thick it's actually quite thin and yet quite effective and the reason for this is that as I'm brushing the selected part that I've exposed right now I can actually reach a little bit further because that middle section um, is able to actually penetrate my hair and reach the scalp because it's um, it's not too thick if you know what I mean I don't know if that makes sense um, the bristles are not too thick the ones that are sticking out in the middle there that I showed you at the beginning of the video so I can actually move about an inch or so you know I don't know if you can tell but I can move an inch or so from the line and just brush a little bit further so I do cover quite a bit of surface area just by you know parting this one section this makes the process really straightforward easy and quick because I'm able to cover quite a bit of um, space or surface area just by parting you know or just using one part if you know what I mean and also 
um, it prevents me from like making too many parts in my hair, which can be tedious if you've got kinky hair, you know what I'm talking about. Um, even more so if your hair is long, this like parting your hair is a mission. You can get a headache from it. You get so much breakage, what have you. So I pretty much just use the already made parts unless I have to make new ones. I just use the parts um, that are already in my hair and work around that to access all of my scalp. Now, you're probably wondering what a bore bristle brush is and why I'm doing this in the first place and what the benefits of doing this are for your hair and your scalp. Well, for starters, a bore bristle brush is exactly what it sounds like. It's just a brush that is made out of bore bristles. It's best to use brushes that are 100% bore bristle uh, ball bristled brush if you know what I mean so no plastic or nylon or anything like that in order to get the full benefits of this brush. I am not the first person to use this method uh, or use a ball bristle brush. Ball bristle brushes have been used in historical times by women and men to do several things. A ball bristle brush is used for so many things which I'll discuss in a second. However for me I am using it really to um, stimulate blood flow to my scalp to release my scalp of excess sebum and also to help me distribute that sebum onto my hair which in turn helps me to extend the time between my wash days because my scalp will be left clean and free of sebum and I did say in the beginning of the video that this does what a shampoo cannot do and that's simply because it actually offers um, exfoliating properties and it does this without stripping my hair uh, of any natural oils you know so i mean a shampoo of course <laughs> is necessary and at some stage i'll have to use one however in modern day and just with the modern beauty industry people just think the only way to cleanse your hair and the only way to be hygienic and clean is to use a shampoo, which is not the case. The benefits of a ball bristle brush are really quite vast. And like I said in the beginning of this video, this particular brush is actually a teasing brush. However, ball bristle brushes in general have been used for centuries to cleanse the scalp of debris, dirt, lint, pollen anything really and also to take oils from the scalp and distribute them to the hair where they need where the oils are needed and this is really beneficial to the hair and beneficial to the scalp as well a buildup of sebum on the scalp can cause inflammation it can lead to you know sore scalp and just you know eventually just really low quality hair and some people end up losing their hair just because um, there was a buildup of sebum on the scalp. So if you're not shampooing your hair at least every two weeks, this is probably something that will be beneficial to you, particularly if you have a high sebum production. Now you can see me brushing um, my nape and that's because there is some evidence to show that a lot of sebum actually sits at the nape or just at the back of the hair right there. So I like to take my time to brush um, around the nape and go ahead to spread that sebum to the rest of my hair. A ball bristle brush is also used to smooth and soften the hair and it does this by helping you close the cuticle and really just run those oils down the hair shaft. Now I don't use the bristle brush on the actual length of my hair because I don't feel that I can do it safely with the texture of my hair. Maybe in the future I'll find a way to do it. But looser textures, particularly people with straight hair, are the ones that can benefit the most from using a ball bristle brush on the length of their hair. A bristle brush can also be used to style the hair. As I said already, it helps you extend the time between your washes. And it has been used over the years by many cultures as a dry cleansing method. Each time I use my ball bristle brush, I go ahead and pour some cleansing vinegar onto it and agitate all the oils and dirt that's on there and give it a good rinse. Otherwise, I use shampoo 
and just you know same thing agitate it and rinse it under running water and make sure to give it a thorough rinse just to make sure all the dirt oils and particularly any shampoo or vinegar is rinsed off after giving it a good shake to remove excess water i place it on a surface on the side to dry i try not to put it on the back in case any water collects and sort of builds up in the wood which will decrease the longevity of your brush and if there's any hairs or anything stuck in there i just use a rattle comb to remove it and done i hope you enjoyed this video i'll see you in the next one